All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you all again so much for coming over. You guys are greatly, greatly appreciated. Now, uh, it happens all the time, man. When someone passed away, my wife is always the first one to let me know. Um, I forget where we, where we were at, but I know we were eating. And um, she let me know. And then I went to my phone and I started getting messages. So rest in peace to brother um, Taylor Hawkins from Foo Fighters. Now, I didn't want to do a music reaction because I'm almost 100% sure that it's going to get blocked. I believe I only did about two reactions to the Foo Fighters. But um, I know I tried a couple of more and they got blocked. So I don't want to do any music. But uh, they have here him and Dave um, on the origins of Foo Fighters on Conan. So I'm going to check this video out. Hopefully this won't get blocked because this is, this is number 40 on trending right now. So hopefully everything goes smoothly, man. But I, you know, I didn't know the brother. Um, I'm familiar with Foo Fighters, but just mainly because of Dave. Um... So I don't want to come on here just saying all these things. I don't I don't really even know too much about him. But uh, I'm more so doing this for you guys. Because you guys were like, can I do some type of tribute or something? But yeah, um, we're going to check this video out. Um, if I have to make it smaller, it is what it is, man. But yeah, again, rest in peace to brother Taylor Hawkins. So we're going to check this out. All right. Ain't going to waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. There's a lot of great things in the documentary, back and forth, there's, but there's, uh, there's one moment at the very end of the documentary, I thought it was over, I'm just about to turn it off, when actually there's a, a snippet of, of you, Dave, saying, uh, I, if I thought the Foo Fighters was ever gonna be this big, I'd have come up with a better name yeah. for the band. You, are you not impressed oh. with the name Foo Fighter? You know, I'm really happy with what's happened over the last 16 years, we're really lucky, and I, I love being in this band. But honestly, Foo Fighters is like the stupidest band name you've ever heard. <laughs> it's a horrible name. What's with the language it's tonight? A, I don't know. <laughs> it's a ter I mean, it, it, when, the reason why I called it Foo Fighters was because th the, the first thing that I recorded uh, was, I did it by myself, and I played all the instruments. I played drums and guitar right. and bass, and sang, and I made this cassette, but I didn't want people to know it was me, because I didn't want people to think like, oh, that guy from Nirvana is trying to start another band. So I just uh -oh. called it... Foo Fighters because it sounded like a group of people. Right. Like, sure. yeah. And I had read it in a, a UFO book or something like that. And, um, but it stuck and it stayed all this time. And I just can't believe, if I knew that we, were, we would be here on your show 16 years later. You know you've made it when you're here. Someday Conan's gonna be on TBS and I'll be there. Uh, <laughs> did you, now, okay, well, well, Taylor, what do you think of the band name? See, I thought it was really cool. You liked it? Yeah, so I must be really a dipshit, but. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, are there band delighted. names that you, like, what, are they, what do you guys think of the quintessential cool band names? Like Rush. Queen. When I was a kid. Queen. The Rush. Ramones. Ramones is a great band yeah. name. Sticks. <laughs> Air supply. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Is there beef between Sticks and Foo Fighters? You seen that look he did? Come on, comment below. <laughs> Josie and the Pussycats. <laughs> you know what's interesting? When I, <clears throat> one of the things I did not appreciate. Uh, it's such a good documentary about the struggle of a band to, to, to form. I, what I did not appreciate is how many lineup changes that you guys have, have been through. Uh, Taylor, you were the second, the second drummer, second yeah. drummer uh, for Foo Fighters. And what happens is you make the point in the documentary that, that a lot of, every rock band goes through a lot of lineup changes, or most of them do, but it usually oh. happens before they're famous. Yeah. Mm. I mean, you know, the way we function is really not that different than any garage band that lives in your neighborhood. We're, we're normal people, we're friends, and we get together and we write songs on our own, and we recorded this album in our garage. And so 
you know, we're just, we're just kids, really, right. playing music. We do right. it for the same reason we did. We were doing it back then, and I think that, you know, when you, when you go through that kind of stuff, like Johnny went to college, uh, and this guy quit because his parents were Mormon and didn't want him in the band anymore, and we, like a band like us, we went through the same thing, uh, but we had to do the whole thing. We had to do it in public, in front of in everybody. Public. Right. Mm -hmm. so, well, you made uh, you made the point in, like in the child actors. It, yes, uh, you made the point in the documentary that uh, Nirvana went through this. You were the I didn't realize you were the fifth drummer. I was the fifth drummer in Nirvana. They had a lot of drummers. They were from. Did you guys know that? Dang, he was the fifth drummer. So what he's saying is that in Foo Fighters they got famous so fast that you know the stardom kind of took over and they had to like almost catch up. That's crazy. Man, so they got famous before. Yeah, so everybody, like everything they did was like under the public eye because they were so famous. Aberdeen, Washington. And so, but their, their early drummers, one of their early, their, the people that were in, the, in Nirvana before I joined were just bananas. They were all just crazy. Like, the first time, one of them drove a truck through like a supermarket window once um, with the mayor's daughter in the truck, you know. And, and that, like, and that the, was his audition. <laughs> <laughs> was it? You're in. There was, was there like a 50 year old dude with, like, with a mustache. No, that was pavement. And, but then th this other guy, the first time I met their first drummer, we were at a laundromat. And he comes in and he goes, hey, man. And he hands me some quarters. And he goes, I'm going to get in this dryer. Put those quarters in once you close the door. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so he gets in this dryer. And I put the quarters in. He just goes, tuk, 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 And that was, that's what you got to do to be in Nirvana. You know? <laughs> So the name he came up with was pretty, just pretty basic, but he didn't, like he said, he didn't expect them to be where they were so fast or whatever. But um, again, man, I didn't want to react to any music because I didn't want it to get blocked. Um, but like I said, I am very familiar with the Foo Fighters. It's just sometimes um, like, a song of theirs might come on and I don't exactly know that it's them, but I do know the song. Um, and I think that's what happened with some of the reactions that got blocked. Like I knew the song, but I just didn't know it was the Foo Fighters. I didn't know the song by the title, but you know, like I said, cause when I worked at the Staples Center, they would play so much music during like a Laker game, like while the players are warming up, Clipper game, whatever the case may be during a timeout, just whatever the case may be. And, you know, when you guys request for me to react to them, then it'll like ring a bell. And I'm like, oh, okay, so this is the Foo Fighters. But I just wanted to get on here and pay my respect. I didn't want y'all to think I was ignoring y'all messages and stuff like that. But again, man, appreciate you guys coming over and rest in peace to Brother Taylor, all right? Peace out.